As temperatures continue to rise, many animals, both indoor and outdoor, will also be feeling the heat. The Pike County Animal Shelter gives us tips on how to keep our furry friends cool this summer. It's uh, very easy to overheat for dogs especially. Cats tend to be able to kind of regulate their body temperature and they'll slow themselves down and kind of get a little lazier when the temperatures rise. Uh, but the dogs, you know, they always want to play, they always want to be active. When working traffic in Ploy County, responding to crashes involving deaths or injuries is the toughest part of our job. When you're driving on Floyd County roads, there's so much out of your control. What you do have control over is wearing a seatbelt. Floyd County, always buckle up. Heat stroke in dogs and cats can be dangerous and life-threatening. Keeping your pet hydrated in the shade and limiting strenuous activity are all keys to avoid heat stroke in your pet. In addition, hot pavement can be harmful to dogs' paws. Make sure to take your dog walking early in the morning or late in the evening to avoid potentially damaging their paws. A lot of people don't realize that dogs don't sweat. They only sweat through their paws. And when their paws are hot, it, you know, they don't sweat. Um, also, there's other things that if you notice your dog is overheating from walking on the pavement, you can do the cool water or you know room temperature water pretty much is the best to put on their paws and to cool them off if you don't have that available uh, some people use rubbing alcohol if you suspect your pet may be experiencing heat stroke symptoms make sure to seek medical help for mountaintop news i'm kelsey fidel